Okay, 6.15, 2019, and I'm just about ready to hop in the shower. The dog has had some cookies with peanut butter on them, so he's whining quite a bit less. And I got his collar off, so now he's done whining too. He was pretty happy. He's all like, oh, thank you. He's such a weirdo, that's what I'm saying. He couldn't stay with anyone else. I just threatened to kill him. Someone else really would. Anyway... Oh, and then the hummingbirds keep flying here. Hummingbirds remember stuff too. People are like, crows remember stuff. I'm like, hummingbirds remember stuff. Either that or their babies get it in their DNA. But they will come and look in my windows. And so do the other ones. And then these ones kill my birds. I hate them. Mwah. They kill the birds. They kill the squirrels. Like, I'm sure it's pretty hard to friggin' squish a little um, goldfinch flat. But... There it was, in the middle of the road, squished flat, like the rabbits that they used to skin. And then I heard that they tied two skinned rabbits to some car in Moscow, but it never got reported in the actual police report. It got reported in the police notes, but not in the reports. So that's how you keep a clean record. You have two kinds of reports. Anyway, so yeah, I put the uh, hummingbird feeder out there. I'm not thrilled with it. It's all ruined because these guys are jealous freaks. Um, because the hummingbirds actually will land on me and stuff like that. Butterflies too. So they break them. They break them. And so, of course, Poison Bitch Superstar drove by to her buddy the mayor with a different, better eminent domain. Founding families. Built the engines together. So yeah, it's a beautiful evening. My hummingbird feeder, they'll probably fill it with piss overnight or something disgusting like that, but I can't just watch them like constantly flipping, looking for it and looking in the window and making me feel guilty and not have it out there at least for a minute. They're really bossy too. It would be like a Garden of Eden here with these fucking psycho poisoners. Mom. <laughs> so yeah, that's why I thought President Trump was horrible and these are what I call Trump pansies because I know some of them voted for him, including my mother and her psychotic husband. And uh, it's her psychotic husband that listens to Rush Limbaugh. I'm not saying that there's not, you know, some intelligence in this. Obviously, I, I appreciate a lot of the policies. I mean, I guess I would, I would say I'm a nationalist. I don't think there should be any export trade until the entire nation is taken care of. That's the first responsibility of a government, a federal government, and a state government, and a municipal government, is to make sure that the entire nation is cared for. And if they're cared for in wheat, but maybe they're not cared for in water, then the wheat people need to get with the water people until everyone's cared for. Um, but, you know, instead they're just, like, poisoning and fucking being jealous little twats, and they really need to be in a mental institution, which is where they keep trying to put me. Anyway, that's what's going on here. I just fed the hummingbirds, and, because they're bugging me, and right as soon as I did, Superstar drives by to the mayor's house. I dream too and I've seen some shit so keep on with it keep on